Hi, I'm Tom Brown. I am giving you an intimate look into the steps that takes me from conceptual sketch through fittings to Paris to the actual runways. And this is sketch to dress. The simple idea for this collection really started from the idea of Noah's Ark. This being a show with both men and women, I wanted it to be the idea of pairs. It came from the sophomoric idea of the guy and the girl looking the same, and I thought, well, Noah's Ark, with the animals two by two coming out of the ark. The sketches are very conceptual at the beginning. They really start with shapes. A pleated skirt would be more of a, like a triangle. A square would be more of a shorter jacket. A rectangle would be more of an outerwear piece. The look that you will be seeing, it's basically taking the classic pleated skirt, but actually pulling the, the pleated skirt to be worn as almost like a halter top. And then the coat and the shirt of the look being the skirt for the, the look, and then the, the sport coat actually just on her shoulders. And his shoulders too. I sketch this way because I can't actually illustrate, you know, at all. Then I do get with my teams and then it turns into a more workable sketch. From that conversation, the pattern piece is created by a pattern maker who I've been working with for a long time who is a genius pattern maker. Then the muslin is made from those pattern pieces and then the pattern pieces and the muslin is fit on the actual model. The muslin process is important, just it's a working tool. It's really taking the idea of what the look should turn into and fitting the garment on a body. The most important thing is to see that the proportion is working, to see that it actually fits, to see that it's something that's interesting in actuality as opposed to just on paper. So many of my collections do start from the idea of how am I going to make the gray suit interesting again. The idea of uniformity that most people think is not interesting or very constricting and showing it to people in a way that it almost turns into living art. For me, that is where really every collection starts. It's from that very simple idea. Once the proportion and the fit is perfected, then it really just comes down to then fabricating. This collection is based on primarily Harris tweed fabrics. I like the structured nature of the fabrics to be worn and to almost get better with time. The mill that we actually get it from the story is that you won't appreciate it, your, your son won't appreciate it, your grandson will actually appreciate the cashmere. That's how good it gets over time. For this particular look, there are a lot of different specific finishings in regards to it's not a, a full gray flannel skirt. The coat actually is in a rep stripe navy duchess satin that is tipped in red, white, and blue bullion tipping. And then we go into making the samples. 90% of everything is finished here and then flown to Paris. We should be finishing that towards the end of next week and then everybody heads to Paris. This is my atelier here in Paris. I have it year round. We have the showroom here as well. This is where we do all the hand finishing. We have about two days to the show. We are fitting the look that we've been talking about through this story. Things are fitting well, thank God. Everybody's looking good. Constructing it is, you know, hours in regards to, you know, having people hand tailor and hand stitch the conceptual pieces together in order for it to actually fit as well as it needs to fit. Casting for the show was important because I wanted to make sure that the pairings worked together, making sure that you saw pairs that you had to question which one was the man and which one was the woman. It was important for me to have, for this look particularly, two models that actually could really carry it. This look I'm actually going to put at the beginning of the show because it is so important to the idea of what the collection is all about. 
with my shows because they're not traditional shows. It's nice when they're more comfortable being able to do something different. So that is probably the most important thing in casting is working with people that actually can perform in some type of way. Finishing for me for anything that I do in my shows is really important. The finishing in regards to the tipping is done in bullion as opposed to a more simpler grow grain finishing. The inserts in the pleats are a silk insert. It's a really specially made piece of clothing. The accessories are, well, they're all based on, you know, animals from Noah's Ark. The idea of making bags in the shape of animals did specifically start with Hector. I've been making the Hector bags for a couple seasons now, and we have an amazing factory that can actualize these type of bags. It was a perfect way of, you know, playing with the story of Noah's Ark. There's a rabbit, there's a deer, there's uh, an ostrich. There's 33 different types of animals. I don't know specifically if all of them were actually in the ark, but they were in my eyes. Shows at the Bazaar here in Paris. It's a beautiful venue. I love being able to put these stories in front of people. The set is really playing with the story of these uh, animals coming from Noah's Ark. A beautiful winter set with two doors on the set that represent coming from the past and going into the future. You know, we have such a short amount of time in regards to rehearsing with the models on the day of the show, making sure the choreography is working and just getting ready. So you can walk a bit slower and you have to keep your distance. Keep your distance with the couple in front of you. You walk not too fast and you walk through the first door. It's not the same partner in the finale as in during the show. So don't be panicked. We put you with the correct partner. Half of the hair is silicone coated and the back of the hair is real hair. They are veiled in this beautiful veiling that has the embroidery of the animals. And then the makeup is very simple and very, you know, sculptured on the face, but nothing too, you know, overly dramatic. We do have professional dressers that we are very serious in regards to making sure they know how to put the look on, you know, up to even to the point of where to put the tie bar on the tie. The moment before the show, there is some anxiety, but it is the time that I love, and I love being able to put the story in front of people. But I also want it to be perfect, because there's so much time and effort that we all put into these 20 minutes that I want to make sure it's as perfect as possible. During the show, I can't do much, so I just I kind of enjoy it with everybody else. We start sales the day after the show, and I do love people entertaining these as real clothing. As conceptual as they are, it is shown on a body, so it, it is something that I would love for people to be able to see in real life. I have to say, after the shows, I, I love the experience. I just want to make sure that everybody, especially my team, gets the appreciation that they deserve for all the hard work. We all get to just uh, appreciate what we get to do. The show actually is the closure for this collection. There's a little bit of downtime, but it's, it's on to the next.